Hello, you yeah, are welcome. Welcome to the the teacher channel. And uh, in this uh, uh, video, I will be demonstrating CPR in an adult uh, victim, okay, adult patient. And uh, so before I start the, the demonstration, I want to say one or two things about CPR and the importance of CPR. Um, so CPR is one of those uh, emergency care uh, you give to somebody okay, who is in a cardiac arrest or somebody whose heart has stopped beating effectively. Um, so, of course, you know that the basic um, function of the heart is to pump the blood. So, pumping blood is very important, is a critical um, functionality uh, without which uh, life will not exist. Uh, the reason is because the, the blood is the distributor, so uh, everything you need, everything I need, everything the cells of the body uh, need to function is usually delivered through the blood, and the heart is the uh, the pump. Okay. So one of those um, elements that we need to live is oxygen. Okay, so of course. Uh, it, I don't know whether you know, but I want to assume that you know that the cells of the body cannot live uh, so long, cannot survive for long without oxygen, especially the brain cells. So when somebody is in cardiac arrest, if nothing is done, this person will die, most likely die. Uh, because of the uh, what I just explained. However, with uh, CPR given to this person, and if that is given on time, this person will stand at least a chance of uh, making it back to life. So this is why CPR is so critical, so crucial, so important. And learning how to do CPR, I believe, is very important. If you know how to perform it, it is very, very priceless, okay? Because you may need it, okay? Because emergency can happen anytime. Nobody knows when emergency shows up. Okay, cardiac arrest can happen just like that, okay? There's no one, cardiac arrest does not work, doesn't usually have any signs and symptoms, it's just a sudden stoppage of the heart. So when that happens, the most appropriate first aid to perform is CPR, which stands for cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Cardio is the heart, pulmonary is the lungs, and the resuscitation is that attempt, that effort you make to revive this person. Okay? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to perform CPR on an, um, I mean, a, a, an adult patient. So adult is my patient, okay? Uh, so the first thing you do is to, to check safety, okay? Make sure the scene is safe. Uh, this is very, very important because you don't want to put your life in danger, you don't want to put your life in harm's way. So make sure the scene is safe. And then let's assume the scene is safe. Okay, now you need to check this person. You want to check to make sure that this person isn't sleeping. Okay, so how do you do that? Shout and tap the shoulder. Hey, are you okay? Can you hear me? Can I help you? Are you okay? 
okay so if the person does not respond now you conclude that he is unresponsive he's, he's, he's unconscious but that is not enough okay so you have to do one more check at least and that is check for breathing is this person breathing or not so how do you do that you do um, so head tilt, chin lift and then check the chest okay scan the chest um, for five to ten seconds so between five to ten seconds okay make sure you hold the uh, you do your head tilt, chin lift okay so I, I didn't see the chest rising and falling signifying that this person is not breathing okay so in that case I need to call EMS emergency medical service or, or, or yes emergency medical team I need to call them okay so you I, I assume you know your um, emergency number so uh is 911 okay in my own locality so it's 911 so i call 911 and then i need aed so i'm going to uh, call 911 and then request aed okay if somebody is there so if i have somebody with me or somebody close by i can call the person's name and say please can you call 911 and get AED? Do you understand? So after that, I need to start um, uh, high quality CPR. So I look at the center of the chest. Okay, I put the heel on my hand there, and then I lock my uh, my fingers and I make sure that I'm close to the patient. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 30 chest compressions followed by two breaths. Okay, the two breaths should be delivered over two seconds. So one breath is for one, uh, one second. And you also need to watch the chest rise. So as you blow, your eyes are supposed to be toward the chest. So you want to make sure the chest is rising, which actually shows that your breath is going to the lungs and inflating the lungs, which is actually what they're doing. Remember that um, the essence of the breath is to give oxygen. Yes, your breath contains 17% oxygen. That is what they're giving to the patient. Okay. So now I want to talk briefly on um, high quality CPR, high quality. So the CPR you give should be of high quality, okay, high quality. And 
Um, how do you measure that your CPR is a high quality CPR? Okay, number one, you must push hard and fast at the center of the chest. Number two, the rate at which you compress is 100 to 120 in one minute. So the rate of compressions, okay, 100 to 120 in one minute. Okay, and you have to compress deep enough. So for this uh, adult patient, my target is five centimeters, okay, or two inches. And then another attribute of high quality CPR is that you must allow the chest to recoil. You must allow the chest to recoil between compressions. And recoil is diastolic. And that is actually when the blood flows back to the heart. This is very, very critical, very important. Because if you, if you are like, for instance, if you begin to go like this, okay, okay, that is, you are going too fast. You are not allowing the chest to recoil. So, which means you are preventing blood from returning to the heart. Meaning that you are just wasting your time. Because you don't have enough blood to pump since you are preventing blood from coming back to the heart. So you really need to be careful with that. Okay? So that is high quality CPR. It is highly recommended. Okay? Um, because the chance that somebody will actually make it back is um, who appreciate with the qualitativeness of, uh, of uh, what you do. Okay. Another thing that I want to emphasize is that you keep on doing CPR, okay, until um, this person begins to breathe, or EMS comes, or your safety is no longer there, or you become exhausted, or maybe a bystander takes over. Otherwise, you have to continue. Okay, you shouldn't abandon this person. Okay, so thank you, and uh, this is what um, the, is intended in this video. Okay, I believe you have gotten some skills, and you are ready. Okay, thank you so much. And again, I'm going to ask you to subscribe, like, and share. Okay, I have more videos coming. Thank you very much, and see you next time.